Hello, welcome to part two. The first part got cut off unceremoniously because I used the free version of Bandit. And secondly, somebody sent me an email um, stating that they wanted to make donations. I don't accept donations. If you want to make donations, please find a charity next to you. There are a lot of people who need money out there, and uh, you can donate to them. Um, thirdly, if you have specific requests in terms of content, please make them in the comment section and. Uh, I will make those. Uh, um, I'll make this specific content when you, when I have time. Anyway, um, let's get back to the video. Um, we were defining sum, right? So the sum expression is written over here in a sort of condensed form, using the Zegmar notation. So if we were to expand that, we would get L1 times Y1 plus L2 times Y2, and so on and so forth. So how do we write that in code? So it's simple, we've already defined variable as sum is equal to zero. So we can write this sum equals. We want the value of L multiplied by the corresponding Y value at I. Now, how does that work? The value of L that we get here will be, let's assume that this is I equals one. The value of L that we get will be this expression. And we want to multiply this by y at 1 in order to get this. But the sum is not just y1 times l1. It's y1 times l1 plus l2 times L y2 and so on and so forth. So then how do we make sure that we also add the following expression instead of overwriting it? Because as things are right now, when i equals 2, that will also be stored at sum and it will overwrite whatever value of sum that was there was before. So in order to prevent this from happening, we can add sum. Now how does that work? Let's assume that we had the value of sum equals 1 initially. Then we reevaluate and we get sum equals 2. So what it's going to do is, it's going to add that 2 to the previous value which was 1 and we get sum equals 3. Then it reevaluates and we get sum equals 5. So it adds that 3 to the 5 that we had gotten before, or rather the 5 that we got to the 3 that we have gotten before, and we get 8, and so on and so forth. And we end up getting that expression, which is truly what we want. And before we finish and we close that for loop, one other thing that we need to do is to reinitialize L. Now, why is that? Right. If we don't reinitialize L, we're going to get this expression for i equals 1. But for i equals 2, it's going to take this expression and multiply it with the previous expression. And we end up getting a hundredth order function, which is not ideal. So if we reinitialize that as 1 and then close the for loop, we're in business. And one other thing that I, one mistake that I've made is I've written this as y instead of y val. We declared our data as xvel and yvel, so we need to change this to yvel and xvel. Right, um, let's run this, and voila, no errors. Right, now, let, how do we see what the value of the interpolating polynomial is? Remember, this is now stored in sum. So I wanted to expand sum and tell me what polynomial is and it tells me that the interpolating polynomial is negative 1 plus x equals 2 I want to write this as a function so how do I go about doing that so I can write this as g at x equals expand sum or you can just write it as sum it doesn't matter and Indeed, it returns this as your g at x. So how do we check the correctness of this expression? Well, that's simple. If we can plug in these values of x somehow and get the corresponding y values, then we'll know that our interpolation was successful. So let's do that. Let's go g and let's go x val, right? And indeed, we get 0, 3, 8, 15. And our initial values were 0, 3, 8, 15. So the interpolation was successful. 
So the initial part of the question, the second part of the question was that find the value of y at x equals 2.5. So how do we do that? You just write the g at of 2.5, and that should give you the corresponding y value. Voila! Please like and subscribe my to my content, and uh, if you have any questions, you can post in the comment section. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate my subscribers and those who like my videos. Goodbye for now.